Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. This video is for current owners of a Wildlife Acoustics SMMU2 ultrasonic microphone and includes instructions and information regarding the new Animal Guard update kit. It turns out the SMMU2 microphone appears to be attractive to some animals, possibly because of its resemblance to a flower. We've seen a number of cases where an animal, most likely a bird, has punctured the waterproof membrane that covers the microphone element. This can lead to water damage and a non-working microphone. Wildlife Acoustics has taken steps to address this problem. We've changed the design of the SMM-U2 to protect the membrane and microphone element. New SMM-U2 microphones will ship with this refined design. For existing SMMU2s that have not been damaged, Wildlife Acoustics provides an update kit so you can protect your microphone. Let's take a look at an undamaged SMMU2 microphone with the original design. You can see the membrane at the center of the microphone. Depending on the original production run, the membrane may be black or it may be gray. You can see this membrane is intact. Now here is a damaged SMMU2. The membrane has been torn, possibly by a beak or a talon. The tear will allow water into the microphone, and that's what we want to avoid. This damaged microphone will need to be sent in for repair or replacement. Let's use the Animal Guard Update Kit to protect an undamaged microphone. The update kit is simple. The kit includes a metal mesh disc and a sticker to attach the mesh disc to the microphone. The mesh disc does not degrade acoustic performance in any way. First, clean the surface of the microphone. Common rubbing alcohol will do the job, and you can see that here we're using pre-packaged alcohol swabs, which are available at any pharmacy. This will wipe away any dirt and finger grease to ensure the sticker adheres properly. Be careful not to press on or apply alcohol to the gray or black membrane. After cleaning, make sure the surface is dry. Here we are using a lint-free cloth to make sure the surface is clean and ready for the sticker. Peel the sticker from the backing paper. Ideally, you can use a pair of tweezers. The tweezers make it easy to grasp the sticker. We'll also use tweezers to place the mesh disc onto the sticker. If you don't have tweezers available, just do your best to avoid touching the adhesive with your fingers. Place the mesh disc onto the sticky side of the sticker so it's centered over the hole. Now place the sticker with the mesh disc onto the microphone. Center the sticker so the hole lines up with the element on the microphone. The hole in the sticker is larger than the membrane, so placement doesn't need to be perfect. You'll see the sticker should fit just under the words ultrasonic microphone on the top and just slightly overlap the BAT logo on the bottom. Press the sticker firmly so it's properly adhered all the way around. Be careful not to press on the mesh disc itself. If the weather is bad, you should wait 24 hours before redeployment in order to let the adhesive set completely. And that's it. Your SMM-U2 microphone is now protected from the beaks and talons of curious critters.